Do you miss, whatever you thought of him, but do you miss the old Mark Crossfield? That's the question of the day. I do, for a few reasons. The main reason for me is because I, basically he doesn't give me any more material. When Mark Crossfield was at his peak, when he's, when he's doing his vlogs and he had all the, um, do you remember Dan Hendrickson and all the crew and Lockie and Rory? Those were the days, weren't they? I look back on those days with fondness because there was so much going on there. It wasn't just for the golf. It was the the, the, the psychology, the mentality of Mark Crossfield. You, you could see that perhaps that maybe Mark Crossfield, when he was a young lad, used to get bullied a lot. <laughs> but, and nothing against Gingers, because my best friend, one of my best friends, Ginger, and I've I've been out with a few ginger girls before, so I'm not I'm not really calling ginger because I've done it before on it and I've got a lot of abuse. Quite rightly so. I'm not gingerist, right? My, my mate's ginger, and um, you would not take the mickey out of him because he's this. It gives you a different personality, ginger. But, but anyway, not only was he ginger, he lost his hair at a young age. And again, I don't want to ridicule ball people because I'm. I'm going to feel I've got a bald patch at the back now. Give me another three more years and I'll be completely bald. So all this makes up the personality, gives the traits of Mark Crossfield. What am I talking about? I don't know, I'm just rambling on here. Uh, but, but anyway, it, it was, it, whatever, you can, whatever you think of Mark Crossfield, he's an interesting, interesting character. And he gave me lots of material. And then, what, well, maybe going back probably two years now, everything has changed. And I've done videos on this. I've done a video on about how Mark Crossford and Coach Locke have parted ways. But that was on the that was at the time where I was sort of just guessing what was happening. I didn't see any more vlogs. I didn't see Rory in there anymore. There was there's never been anything, as far as I know, official of Mark Crossfield's situation. He's never turned around and said, right, let's have a little chat today. Me and Coach Lockie have decided that we're going to do our own things. Rory has phoned up and says, we can no longer afford to pay to fly you around all these five-star resorts that no one can afford. The man of the people. It was none of this. It was just quietly introduced and all of a sudden we just see Mark Crossfield hitting balls into a projector screen every day resulting back to the type of videos that he used to ridicule like the quick fix videos is what he does and why shouldn't he because they are doing blooming well yeah basically this video is are you nostalgic do you miss the old Mark Crossfield and Coach Lucky. Coach Lucky, we can safely say, definitely not in the picture anymore. Occasionally, they might get paid to fly out to Tenerife and and do a, a glossy brochure. But I should imagine what happened was Lucky got married, had a kid, and his wife said to him, Matthew, it's a bad time you. You know, distanced yourself from that ball twat. I'm not sure if she said the exact words. You know, be your own man. Wear your own trousers. And uh, <laughs> and so he's doing his own thing. I don't know how he's doing this. I should imagine he's got, you know, who knows? Who knows a driving range instructor that's not driving around in a BMW or Mercedes. They're all doing blooming well this, the, the, uh, recently. And he's got, he's on swing apps that you can send in your swing on your iPhone and he will charge you 300 pounds to look at it. So he's doing all right for himself, doing his own YouTube channel. Mark Cross was doing his own, but it's all changed. The landscape has changed, is what I'm trying to get across as well. We've got a new breed of youngsters coming through. We've got all the Americans. They, they come late to the game, haven't they, the Americans? They've only been in it for the last three or four years. And it's sort of, do you think that's pushed Crossy out of the way? As, as Crossfield looked at this, what they're doing, 
and said, I can't compete with that. I just do what I... I don't have an answer for that. I don't have... something else I can help with. I don't have an answer for it either, right? But... Do you I think... I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> Is there something else I can help with? I, I presume that's what happened. Can I comment down below? Tell me what, what happened with Crossy. The, the... I'm not sure I understand. Fuck, sir, please. Do you think that... Um... I think the pivotal moment was when your golf travel stopped. When when they stopped doing that, that that changed the landscape for Crossy, because he did have it over everybody else. He was one of the very few people that could afford to go around the world playing all his lovely courses. Now we have the golf mates. He's, I think golf mates has taken taken over what Crossfield used to do. And probably does it a little bit better because he's more relatable to a lot of people. And um, but Crossy is uh, just resorted back to quick fix videos, and he's doing really good with the views, and he's earning a good living. I don't know if he's teaching still. Anyway, so comment down below. Do you miss? Do you ever get nostalgic about Mark Crossfield and Lockie's videos, the old vlog style? Or you think that nah, you know we've seen enough of him? Um, yeah, that's what I have time for. Laters.